it's like a black cloud hanging over our islands, you know, people talking very bad about us, you know, calling us barbarians and, uh, but, uh, yeah, it's a shame. If everything goes to the plan, uh, they can't be killed in, in, in maybe in minutes, huh? but uh, it, it doesn't go after the plan and uh, it takes a long time to drive them to the place where they have to be killed. And it's, uh, it's a torture from uh, hours of torture. It is, and that is the real thing. I love the ocean and uh, I love the whales also. Uh, but as a Faroese, you are not supposed to love whales, you know. But uh, uh, yes, I'm totally against it. Also because of the way they are killed, you know, it will never be uh, acceptable. It is uh, a job that you do, and uh, and uh, you also feel very strongly about being a, a hunter in that. Uh, special moment. Whaling has been a tradition in the Faroe Islands for at least uh, five, six hundred years. I learned it uh, the old-fashioned way with uh, being a boy in uh, my village where I was brought up in the southernmost island in the Faroe Islands and um, uh, the one of the person that uh, taught me uh, how to kill a whale the way it was done then uh, was an old baker and I was 14 years old and uh, then I have, uh, of course, tried it many times and um, the way that he taught me. Uh, Grint today is uh, a food source among other food sources. And it's also uh, a very strong part of uh, Ferry's identity. Which means that, for example, myself as a hunter, is, it's a part of my identity as a hunter. As in other cultures where people hunt freely. The whale meat and the blubber as well is divided in uh, community. And uh, in my village, for example, where I was brought up, it's uh, common to, to uh, divide it uh, between all equally. That means that if you're a newborn child, you get the same as the person that has uh, used his boat and uh, gas and everything to get uh, the whales. And I think that is very, very beautiful. It has been traditionally uh, around one third of our meat consumption, um, distributed in a very uh, uncommercial way. Uh, and if we didn't have this, this meat in the paradise, we we would have needed to import meat from uh, industrialized countries. So it would, uh, it would be, the alternative would be that we should import perhaps 60 to 80,000 chicken, uh, who are, which have been living in a cage, uh, never seen the sun, and import it, or perhaps 30,000 cows or, or calves that are producing as much blood as the whale are, but it's not in the, eye, in the eyesight of people. So, if we, if we eat meat, we know where it comes from, we take part in the whole process, we have respect for the animal, these, these are wild animals that, that have been living a free life, not in cages and so on. And I'm very proud when my children are taking part in, in, in this process. The idea came from a whaler, that <clears throat> instead of using the traditional life, we could use um, a, that what we now call the spinal lance, which is a blade on, 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 on a rod, and uh, instead of cutting for 36 uh, seconds with the knife, you can just cut down to the spinal cord in one, in one blow, it takes around one second, and <clears throat> the whale will die immediately. The killing itself as such is, is uh, not uh, very much more cruel than killing a cow. So it's not the same. The other thing is uh, what I call uh, you torture them to death for, to tell the truth. It makes me feel sad, very sad, because I know that uh, most people they go they don't care, they don't feel anything, they don't give a shit about the, the suffering. They only 
because they, they, they think about this fantastic food they're getting. Huh? It's a part of the Faroese culture and uh, there is therefore so extremely difficult to, to change that. You, know? you can't say that because the whale have a free life, you can kill them as you, the way you, any way you like to because they have had a free life. It does not, uh, that's not okay. When you go hunting whales is that we do it in an open abattoir where everybody can see what goes on which doesn't happen when you kill other animals because very few people or cameras are allowed into other closed abattoirs and these pictures are spectacular and these people may upset people when they see them if they don't know what is behind what happens. We live in a part of the world where we, with one leg, stand in the old historical uh, part where we are self-supplying, we, we can go out fishing, we can go hunting whales, we prepare the food, we slaughter it and so on. And uh, at the same time, these people who do that might have uh, an academic education, they teach us like myself, they can be solicitors and so on. So we are, uh, I think, in, we, we are living in a part of the world that other people have been, uh, uh, that's very far away from other people. They'd rather eat a tenderloin from, uh, from cattle being grabbed, kept in, in, in uh, being caught for, for, for the purpose of being slaughtered to, for food than having some, that we can eat something that has been living free until it's killed. You know, I feel more pity for people who make a decision on ignorance or lack of knowledge about a thing that they have never experienced. I wanted to stop now, as soon as possible, but because of the pressure from outside, it has been delayed. Because before uh, the Sea Shepherd came to the islands, People were really starting, you know, something was happening in the right direction. Huh? But when the Sea Shepherd came, you know, everybody, you know, stepped forward and, uh, you know, and all the work we, we had done about this, everything just fell to the ground and start, and start all over. I would say to all campaigners, you're always welcome to the Faroe Islands to see and to, uh, to visit and take part in, in this uh, sole example on what you actually are striving for. Namely, uh, to preserve nature, to have sustainability, to have respect for the environment, to have respect for animals. So if you could come to the Faroe Islands with that perspective, I think you would change your mind and think, well, we thought this was an example of uh, uh, barbarians killing whales, but it's actually an example of how you can also, in the modern world of today, be civilized. I often get that uh, feeling that uh, for people living in uh, big cities and in societies where you actually have, through industrialization, you have actually uh, forgotten all about nature, that you now use the ferrous whale hunting as a kind of, a, of a, a buying, your, buying your conscience out. I don't think that uh, people in the ferrous are mad because uh, 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 other people try to tell people here how to live their lives, but I think that a lot of people are very sad in the pharaohs. And that is due to the fact that um, uh, the only thing that is uh, that people are doing is uh, they're providing food for themselves. And I have never met a pharaoh islander who yet has, uh, you know, judged a person that lives in a big city, for example, London or New York, uh, every time they go out to buy uh, a chicken or a piece of a cow that also is a living animal.